Alright guys, thanks for checking out another video. Today we got a uh, little work on a Sunday. Um, we got an 05 Ford Mustang with a 4 liter V6. It has a broken shifter in it. Uh, it's really just aesthetics. The shifter knob's a little broken, the uh, plastic on is a little broken. But the customer doesn't like it. So the customer, for those that don't know, this is the S in S&A. &A, and He's gone and purchased, purchased himself a new shifter assembly. And I said, that's fine. You're going to put it in. And I'll watch. So, that's going to be today's video. Come along. This should be an easy one. It's nothing too, too, too hard. So, I think he'll be alright with it. And let's see how we do. Uh, we'll keep in all the, uh, all the goof ups and flubs and all that other good stuff. We'll keep that in there too. We have to start up in the air. Uh, cables underneath little clip right here on the, on, the, on the end of the bowl, on the end of the shifter. I'm going to pop that off and then it's got a little retaining clip right up in here. A couple little keepers. One in this little hole here, one in this little hole up there. I'm just going to see if we can slide that out. Um, and then we get to go upstairs and pull the upstairs apart. Here you go, buddy. See if you can get behind there. Where? Right here? Nope. I'm going to get right. I'm going to get right in here. Yeah. You should be able to twist, just a twist. And should pop. We may need a bigger one. We get in a better spot here. With the flashlight right in the way. We get a uh, once you get a fatter screwdriver. We get in there. There's an adjustment built into the side. There's a little ratcheting adjustment. Not for you, Scott. Anybody watching? There's a little, uh, this little adjustment on the side, whoop, right here. That's the uh, fine adjustment. After we put it back together to make sure the selector lines up. Let's see if we can get them back over here. I'm gonna sit down. Oh, I'm gonna sit down. And take a break. I can get used to this. There you go. That's it. Now, now you see that other one? You may be able to. You may be able to put, see that white clip. Yeah. I'm gonna zoom in on it a little bit. You may be able to get right behind it yeah, and just right. push it out towards the driver's side. You gotta go side. Yep. Yeah, it's gotta go. What? It's gotta go towards the driver's side of the car, not the black. You got just the white clip. Yep. You may be able to get it that way. You may have to. Put the little screw, the little screwdriver on you. Yeah. Why don't you give me a little flashlight? Give me a little flashlight. You don't need that. Look, we can we can give people more some more light. If you want? Go ahead. Put see that little hole underneath the cable. Yeah. All right, that little screwdriver. You can push that in there if you want. See, and that'll release the clip. There's like a little clip in there, and then try to pry it out at the same time. Yeah, trying to get that one with your hands in the way gonna be tough. That's all right. Do what you gotta do. You may be able to just pry it. I don't know. I don't know how well that little dimple's holding it. I don't think it's holding it. Why don't you put that pop screw? It off. Huh? Then you just pop it off. Well, why don't you get try it again? Let me see. With both of them? Well, just try a big screwdriver. And put that big screwdriver. On the inside of the clip, move it to the to your right. Here? Nope. There you go, right there. That's where I want you to go. See if, see if that'll pry. That's what I'm saying. If you, if you use a little screwdriver and push it in, and then pry. Do you hear me? No. If you use that little screwdriver to push the push the little clip and then do what you were just doing, it should go to the left. Yeah, I know, right? You gotta get both hands up there. That stinks. This isn't working. No? No. <laughs> Alright, we'll have to find a way to make it work. 
That's it. Give up. You gave up. <laughs> there is no good. You can't. There's no crying in baseball. Come on. I'm not gonna do it for you. We're gonna make this work. See if you can pry on the top one. Walk it out. Pry it. I can't reach the notch on the top one though. No, no, no. Just what you were doing last, just a minute ago. What do you mean? Were you prying from the inside? Except pry on that. Is the top one up there? Yeah, you can use the big. No, use the big screwdriver to pry on it like you were. Yeah. Not from there. There you go. Pry on that top one. There you go. Can you hit that or no? No, it's not gonna reach. No. No. You want to get a bigger screwdriver? It's when in doubt, it's when it's in doubt, get a bigger screwdriver. That's not a screwdriver. I got a bigger screwdriver. But all right, you put that screwdriver in there, and now we're gonna see if you can. You might be able to get that from this side. I may need to move the camera back, okay. and you get it in this way, and then give it a little pop. Okay, I'm gonna move back a little bit. Wait. Don't hit the camera, man. Yeah, no opportunity. Take the, take that out. All right. This? Yeah, hang on. Do I have that on film? Hold on. Sometimes it's hard to see that. There you go. Pry it to the left. Not underneath. Get it from the other side. There, there, there you go. Right in there. Pry the bottom out. There you go. That's in there kind of tight, huh? Huh? A little bit. A little bit? That's right. It's moving. If it made it easy to come out, you'd crash. Okay. Now what? Can you pry it? Oh, I fell out of focus again. There we go. Can you hit the top? Walk the top out? Ta-da! And there you go. And that's what it's supposed to look like. All right, let's grab the flashlight and bring the vehicle down. Okay, we have, we have emptied out the multitude of articles from the glove box. Um, and we've dried out the water from the cup holder that was in there. Good job, buddy. Um, just so everybody knows, this is the, the big, the big, oh, I can't even see it. Can you see that? Not really. There it is. That little piece right there is, is very annoying apparently. And this little piece in here broke. So that is why we're changing the shifter. Um, okay. We need two. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's start with, I need to leave that light on. Not really. Yeah, we'll try to leave it like that. Um, Screwdriver. Let's stop by popping his bezel off if you can. If you can get that underneath. There you go. Nice and easy. Walk it. There you go. Nice. Let's do this a little bit different. Take. Alright, ready? Grab the screwdriver. I can't play the screwdriver and hold the light in the camera. Yeah. Take that one out. Take that one out. Would have been easy with the cordless, right? The what? Would have been easy with the cordless screwdriver. Awesome. Now what? Okay, lift the back. Lift the back up. Pop it up. That should slide back to you and out. With what? Like that. Now the, now the fun part. Brake. Now the fun part. Grab that parking brake yeah. and pull it all the way up. All the way. Come on. Woohoo! Muscles. Go ahead. All right. Now, now, now try it. 
Don't break the plastic cover. <laughs> we'll, we'll fix that. I'll be honest, that was actually loose. When I had this off once before, it came off. They don't hold on too well. We'll uh, show everybody what broke. What? Show everybody what came apart. That little piece, that little cover. We'll put that back together. No big deal. Okay, you ready? All right. Now we have to pull those two, those two side covers off. That should pull up to you. There you go. That's so much easier. Can you reach over and get this side or no? It's like a big plastic puzzle. Yeah. Now we gotta get we gotta get take these two screws out right there. And nope, that's the wrong size. You need to go back out and get a seven millimeter. That was pretty good. Good trick. We're gonna need that in a minute, but that was, that was a ten millimeter. Always keep extra 10 millimeters. Got a long enough extension on that? <laughs> it's like a jockey shifter. There you go. Awesome. Now you gotta get that up there. Now you gotta, you know those are gonna slide off of there, right? Some place where it's flatter. Glove box? <laughs> That's fine, I just, I see them sliding off the dashboard. There's that piece again. We'll get it, just leave it off for now. Just put it somewhere else, and we'll get it. Okay, get that 10, 10 millimeter that fell on the floor. Cool. Pull that little piece of rug up. Right there. Take those two little nuts out. You know, I may have to do this video and fast forward. So I don't lose any viewers. Just kidding, buddy. Yeah. You're doing a great job. I'm just teasing you. Really interesting content. Pushing some of screw. Well, I just figured you, 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 your pretty face will bring in all the, all the additional viewers. I'm hoping anyway. My face don't do it. I chase people away. Okay, now we're gonna have to unplug. Where is it? That little plug down in there. You can the reach one next in. to the, the Dorito. Now I added. It has to be the tough part. We added a little, where is it? We added that little USB plug. And that plug is way up in here. Let's see if we can lift it first, mm -hmm. and then we'll work on getting it out of there. Okay? You ready? Just lift the entire thing. Yep. There you go. There you go. Fun part is gonna be these cables. I wish I had a better place to put. Hey, you got money all over the place in this car. You got more money than I do. It's dollar bills everywhere. Let him back up a little bit. This is better. You have to unplug anything or just take it out? No, you're gonna have to unplug it. I just it might be easier to reach underneath and unplug it, or reach through the hole and unplug it. Hang on. Hold on. All right. Where are we? We got that little plug out. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it on camera because just too many hands Because they put that stupid little clip That just requires too many hands Now we have this extra cable in here that I put in And I don't feel like unplugging the whole thing I really don't It's right in there This little USB, whoop, let me hit the camera Hold that cover, would you? We put this nice little USB right in there Unfortunately, there's no quick disconnect for it so but we do have plenty of cable let's see if we can back this up a little bit 
Watch your fingers. <laughs> Lift that up. There you go. Now if we can just tilt this back a little bit, we can do the rest of it like this. Okay? Okay. Alright, I'll hold this. Yeah. Grab that ratchet. Now, there's a little plug. Alright, there's a little see that little plug right there? Right On my there. side. Back right corner. Really? Yep. You're gonna squeeze that little push that little tab down. Yep, and then pull it out to me. There you go. That's it. Now, get those three nuts off. Well, two two nuts, two bolts, all ten millimeter. Cool. Got it all apart? Yeah. Out it comes. Tilt. There you go. Tilt it. Tilt it more. And that's it, my friend. Time to get the new one. New shifter. I like how to change the bracket on the bottom from metal to plastic because Ford. Now that piece stays on top. That's it. It actually slides underneath. There you go. Like it was made to fit. Would you lose your nuts? Yeah. Why don't you get the other one started first? Make sure they're all started before you tighten anything up. I was just, okay. Is that it? I can't see that. Is that it? Right there? Looks good to me. Somewhere over there. You can do it. I can't find it. Stick your head underneath. Trials and tribulations. Yeah, you gotta get your head into places that they don't doesn't belong. And your hands. There you go. Make sure the other one's started too. Always that thing will shift a little bit and then you won't be centered over the hole and I wish we had smell of vision so you guys could smell. I got the exhaust from the kitchen, exhaust right into the garage here. So when the wife is cooking, I get to smell it. And it smells awesome. And it makes working very difficult when thin is getting prepared. I smell garlic and onion right now. Mm-mm. Taking the nut driver like the, the the impact driver like I told you. I offered him the impact driver. He says he wants to do it by hand. I can respect that. Nice. Now just go right through the plastic. Man. Okay. No. Yeah. It's good looking out. If you don't trust your, you know, I, I've said it before. If you don't trust yourself with the air, air tool or the power tool, don't do it. Now, Scott, just grab the see those two cables that are there that, that I put in. 
just want to point those out. These two. Ca no, right up higher. Those are, yeah, those those are the cables for the uh, the USB and the auxiliary input for the radio. So don't those won't be there on normally, and you can take this whole center console out. I hooked them up because we have an aftermarket stereo, and I put that little adapter in the console, so you won't have that. Um, put your plug back in. There you go. Groovy. You want to see if you can put that cigarette lighter uh, or power that, that green and black plug right there? Let's see if we can get that back in now. Going back in should be a whole lot easier than coming out. I heard it. I heard it. Alright. Oh. Stand by. Alright. Sorry, we have to put that on pause. That was the big boss checking in right there. All right, now, going back down. I'm outside the car, it's gonna be a little difficult. Give me that flashlight, I'll hold the flashlight. All the life here. That big thing, you gotta watch those wires there. Especially the ones, like, look, if you, can you see on my side? They're hanging down over here, which is okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just make sure they don't get caught in the shifter as you put that back down. And remember, you gotta, you gotta put the nose of it in first. You gotta tilt the nose of it in, and so then down. Lift this up first? Yep, 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 there you go. Get that shifter. There you go. There you go. Now, to, now you just gotta double check on those cables. See those cables right there? Yeah. What about them? Can you see them on my side? Just Looks like they're in a good up. spot. Can you pick them up? Pick that one up right there. Get that out. It's gotta come up higher. It's caught. There you go. It's the problem with aftermarket cabling. You say it all the time. It always adds time. That's good. Perfect. Now you're in. Now you can drop it back down. Look inside the glove box, you should be lined up where those two holes were. Yeah. Okay. How are we looking? Okay. Alright. You gotta put the two screws back in the front and the two nuts back in the center console. I don't know if I can see that. There you go. Don't worry, through the magic of video editing, I will not make this look like it's your first hand of job. Maybe the second, but not the first. Right. That would be known as a one Uga Duga. Huh? An Uga Duga. We haven't taught him what an Uga Duga is yet. It's the noise an air tool makes when you tighten something up. It goes Uga Duga 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 Duga. That would only be a one Uga Duga. Bad job. Now you're going to put your uh, two side panels back in. Let's see where they all line up. Like it was made to fit. Beauty. What? Now the fun part. We gotta see if we can get that cover back on. This one? Yeah. And then we can put the top bezel back in place. And let's explain what we did. We did a little temporary repair on that that two-piece handle. I'll point to it, Scott. Showing what we did. We had to put a little glue on there. The clip was broken. 
I ran into that when I put the radio in. Uh, I guess I was hopeful it would hold, but it didn't. So we put a little glue and some tape for now until, until the glue dries. So, uh, okay, you want to see if you can put that back on? You're going to need to lift that up. Yep. You're going to need to navigate the handbrake first, I think. You're going to need to... Yeah, that, they don't give you much room in there. There you go. Now, there's the struggle. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You got the two screws in the back. Make sure you hit all the clips. Make sure you hit the, the, the hole in the, where the clips go. Yeah. There it goes. That just went down. It's not down in the middle. It looks down. Oh, it's not down in the middle? I mean, over here. Alright. We'll check that again. Alright, now what you do is put, once you put the key to the on position, don't start it. Just turn it a little bit right there. Put your foot on the brake and pull that shifter into neutral. There you go, right there. Let's leave right there. Shut the key back off. Okay? What? Yeah, sure. Let's go back up and we'll connect the linkage. Okay. All right, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna recommend, I put, put a little grease, sorry, underneath your, uh, your tray there. I would say get that brush And right on that little spot there, uh, where it's got to snap into the bracket. On the bracket? Say again? Put it on the bracket? You can put it on the on the white part there. The white part. Let me see if I can move the light a little bit here. Hold on. There's Let's no see. white part. The white clip that you pried out before, that last piece you did. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. White, yeah, uh-huh, right there. Right where it's going to slide. Yeah. Okay, put some grease on it. It, it. it should make it slide a little easier. There you go. Get a little bit up there. Reach over the top of the pipe. Come around this side. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See okay. if we can get that started back up in place. I don't know if I can get there you go, I can get an angle. I'm trying to watch you, watch the camera and watch the light. A tricky one. Look at that. And that was it. <laughs> How was that? Easy. Now, does that line up? With? Say again? What? Why don't you put a little grease on that as well? On either the pin or the clip? It doesn't really line up. It doesn't line up because I think you were in drive before and now we're in neutral. Why don't you put a little grease on that first, which is going to make it easier to pop together. On which part? Do I want to either, the either one. Either one. Perfect. That's it. Why don't you get, move that shifter until it lines up with the ball and snap it in place. I like to like in between the two notches. Okay. Alright, we can we can make the adjustment afterwards. Well I just got it there. Go ahead. 
pull on the shifter itself. Bingo. Now we'll go check it. Okay. And if it's off, we can make a. We, they 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 give you that little adjustment on the side, of the little the little ridges. We can un unlock it and slide it, so we can line it back up. Okay. All right. That's on it. Good. Yeah. Give it a little pull. Make sure it doesn't come back off. Feels like it's on it pretty good. I mean, it's loose. Huh? It's loose. Well, that's the whole thing wiggling. That's fine. I'm saying it's not coming off the ball though. Should I try and pull it? No, no, that's fine. If it's on it, it would have come off in your hand. All right, let's go check it. All right, once you put the key to the on position, we won't have to start it yet, right? Take yeah. the plastic off the shifter. I got grease on my hands. You got grease? I still leave the plastic on the shifter. Oh. Um, see if it shifts into park. Yeah. If it locks in. Yeah. Good. Reverse neutral drive. Reverse. Nope. All right, quick walk through on the adjustment. Uh, we wore a hair off on the shifter. On this lock here, there's a little tab right up in here. Push it outwards, push the lock up like that. And at this point, you can slide this. Either, you can slide the um, cable, whatever whatever detent it's supposed to be. And I put it in drive because it locks in drive. And this way I can, I can make sure this is in drive and then push this back down so it locks back in. There's, there's a good half inch of adjustments on this, this black piece here. Get the lock back in and now we can go check it. Simple like that. Alright, good. Make sure it works. Neutral. Lock at reverse. Slides back into neutral. Lock, it does it lock out of reverse. It's locked out. Drive. It locks in drive. It's lined up. Yeah. All right. Adjustment's done, right? Yeah. Nice job. New shifters in. Looks pretty. Good job. Thumbs up. Nice job. Awesome stuff. All right, guys. That's it on the uh, Ford Mustang shifter. Um, on the DIY. Get over here, buddy. Come on. There you go. The DIY shifter, I think it did pretty good. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if there's anything you think you could have done a little different. How did I do teaching them? Um, you know, the hardest thing to do is teach your own. Uh, patience usually runs a little thin. <laughs> I tried out. Uh, but guys, listen. If you know something, teach it. It's what we have to do. The smartest place in the world is six feet, over, six feet under in the graveyard, right? As much as he probably don't want to do this on a Sunday. And as much as I didn't want to have to teach him on a Sunday, that's the only time we have. Because uh, the football game's on inside. And we're going to watch a game. But I think you did a great job. And if you want to mine, and you want to work on your, and you want work done on your car, you're going to do it yourself. And I'm going to show you. But I think you did a good job. Thanks for watching, everybody. Click subscribe, ring the bell, all that other fun stuff. Look at this kid. Big looking kid. All right, I'm proud of him. But thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks. How's it look good? Yeah. Good light? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh my God, bringing all the big hits. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. You ready? Sure. Uh -huh. You look good on camera. You know what's strange? What's that? I've never eaten Doritos in this car. Never eaten Doritos, but there is one. You know what that means? It's been there for a real long time. Ew. Yeah. Mm -mm. You haven't worked on my car still. You know, if I just curse a lot, you can't get on YouTube, right? I can bleep stuff out. Yeah, I'm still working on my car. I'm almost done. I, I don't know, an hour, maybe.